Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on tautological implication in discrete mathematics and graph theory course. First of all, what is tautological implication? Which symbol we have to use tautological implication? Let us consider A and B are two compound propositions. Compound proposition A is tautologically implied by compound proposition B if and only if A conditional B is a tautology. So that means compound proposition A is tautologically implied by compound proposition B if and only if A conditional B is a tautology. Okay. Here, this symbol can be used for tautological implication. So, this symbol can be called as implies symbol. Okay. A implies B if and only if A conditional B is a tautology. Now, go for the example. Prove the following. P conditional Q and Q conditional R implies P and Q conditional R. Okay. So, this is the tautological implication symbol. That is called as implies symbol. Before the implies symbol, whatever the compound proposition is there, that can be treated as A. After the implies symbol, whatever the compound proposition is there, that can be treated as B. Now, we have to prove that A implies B. Okay. To prove that a implies B. We have to show that A conditional B is a tautology. Okay. Whenever we have to show that A conditional B is a tautology, then we have to write compound proposition A is tautologically implied by compound proposition B. Okay. Next one. We have to use truth table method to prove that whether this compound proposition A is tautologically implied by compound proposition B. To use the truth table method, first we have to identify how many number of propositions are there in the given problem. In that given problem, there are three propositions are there that are P, Q, R. Okay. So, P, Q, R are the propositions. With three propositions, how many number of possible combination of truth values we are getting? So, 2 power n where n is nothing but number of propositions. Number of propositions are 3. So, that 2 power 3 is equal to 8 possible combination of truth values. Okay. So, these are the 8 possible combination of truth values. Next. In the truth table, first we have to write P, Q, R are the three columns. So, P, Q, R are the propositions with the three propositions, eight possible combinations of truth values. We are getting that are these eight possible combinations. How to write? That can be discussed in the previous videos. Please refer that previous videos. Okay. Next, fourth column contains P conditional Q. Fifth column contains Q conditional R. 
sixth column contains the intersection between and connection between P conditional Q and Q conditional R. Next, seventh column contains P and Q. Eighth column contains P and Q conditional R. Ninth column contains A conditional B. So, this is A and this is B. So, A conditional B is the ninth column. Okay, we have to prove that A conditional B column contains all truth values. Then we can say that this entire compound proposition is a tautology. Okay, whenever it contains all true values, that means tautology, we have to write that compound proposition A implies compound proposition B. Now, what is the truth values of P conditional Q column? P conditional Q is false when P value is true and Q value is false. Then P conditional Q is false. In remaining all cases, P conditional Q is true. Now, check that one. P value is true, Q value is false. Then P conditional Q is false. P value is true, Q value is false. P conditional Q is false. Okay, only two combinations are there. P value true, Q value false. Then P conditional Q is false. Remaining all cases, it is true. Next one. Next column. What are the truth values of Q conditional R? Q conditional R is false when Q value is true and R value is false. Remaining all cases, Q conditional R is true. Q value is true, R value is false. Then Q conditional R is false. Next, Q value is true, R value is false. Then Q conditional R is false. Remaining all cases, it is true. Now, next column, what is the truth values of P conditional Q and Q conditional R? Okay, in between the two propositions, and connective is there. In the case of and connectives, both are true values, then P conditional Q and Q conditional R is true. In remaining all cases, it is false. That means P conditional Q truth value is true, Q conditional R truth value is true, then true and true is nothing but true. In remaining all cases, so P conditional Q and Q conditional R is false. Next, P conditional Q truth value is true, Q conditional R truth value is true. True and true, that is nothing but true. P conditional Q truth value is true, Q conditional R truth value is false. True and false, that is false. P conditional Q truth value is false. Q conditional R truth value is true. False and true. That is false. P conditional Q truth value is false. Q conditional R truth value is true. False and true is nothing but false. Next, true and true. That is nothing but true. True and false. That is nothing but false. True and true, that is nothing but true. True and true, that is nothing but true. Okay, for getting the truth values of P conditional Q and Q conditional R, 
we have to use this column and this column. Okay. In between them, we have to use and connective. Okay. Next one. P and Q column. What is the truth values of P and Q column? P and Q truth value is true when P value is true and Q value is true. In remaining all cases, it is false. Okay. Consider P column, Q column. P value is true, Q value is true. True and true, there is nothing but true. P value true, Q value true. True and true, it is nothing but true. P value true, Q value false. True and false, that is false. P value true, Q value false. True and false, that is false. P value is false, Q value is true. False and true, that is false. P value is false, Q value is true. False and true, that is false. P value is false, Q value is false. False and false, that is false. P value is false, Q value is false. False and false, that is nothing but false. Next one. What is the truth values of P and Q conditional R? Already P and Q is there here, R is there here. Okay, P and Q conditional R. So P and Q conditional R contains the truth value false when P and Q truth value is true and R truth value is false. Then P and Q conditional R truth value is false. In remaining all cases, we have it contains true values. Okay. P and Q truth value is true. R truth value is true. Now, P and Q truth value is true. R truth value is false. True, false. Then, P and Q conditional R value is false. Next one. Only single case is there. You have to remember First, you have to check the P and Q truth values. Next, you have to check the R truth values. P and Q truth value is true and R truth value is false. Then P and Q conditional R truth value is false. Only that case is single. P and Q is true and R value is false. Okay. Then P and Q conditional R truth value is false. Remaining all cases, it is true. Next one. Next one. A conditional B. So this is A column. This is B column. A conditional B truth values. What is the truth value of A conditional B? A conditional B contains false value when A truth value is true and B truth value is false. Then A conditional B truth value is false. Remaining all cases, it is true. Okay. But there is no case is there. Then A conditional B contains all true values. A truth value is true. B truth value is false. There is no case is there. Okay. If it is case is there, A conditional B is false. Remaining all cases, it is true. But there is no such case is there. So that A conditional B contains all true values. Okay, here we have to prove that A conditional B is a tautology because A conditional B contains all true values so that A conditional B is a tautology. Whenever A conditional B is a tautology, we have to write that 
compound proposition A implies compound proposition B. So here we have to write that compound proposition A conditional B is a tautology by observing from the truth table. By observing this column, we can say that A conditional B is a tautology because it contains all true values. Then you have to write then we have to say that A implies B. Okay. So, A implies B means this is compound proposition A. B means this is compound proposition B. A implies B. We have to write if and only if a conditional B is a tautology. We already showed that A conditional B is a tautology. Then we have to write A implies B. Okay. So this is the procedure we have to follow to show that compound proposition A is a tautologically implied compound proposition B. Okay. Now finally we have to write We have to write A conditional B is a tautology. Then we have to write therefore P conditional Q and Q conditional R implies P and Q conditional R. Okay, compound proposition A implies compound proposition B because compound proposition A conditional compound proposition B is a tautology. Okay, I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. Please check the comment box. In the comment box, entire discrete mathematics and graph theory course playlist is there. Use that playlist, understanding the entire subject and get good marks. If you really understanding this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasa Rao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.